Good evening, and welcome back to the Republic News Network. I'm Captain Shaq, and tonight, with the launch of the Havania under Captain Rachel Beam being successful and its trip toward our nearest neighboring star well underway, we thought it'd be nice to take a look back on how we got to this point. How do we go from a collection of warring and competing nations to the single planetary government of the Grand Republic? The discovery of ancient technology in the deep deserts of the southern continent has been largely used as the stepping off point for historians for the formation of our current government, but talks to form a large bureaucratic entity that stands above the petty needs of greed and beyond the outlook of the rich and the powerful of the first world nations to solve the major issues of our planet have been in the talks for some time, negotiating for decades. Discovering the long buried alien starship known as what many scholars believe to be translated to the liberation was the first time all the governments of our planet actually agreed on something. No, not on unifying, but on getting their hands on that advanced tech, knowing its technology would shape our way of life going forward. With a vessel being discovered in an area of no man's land, a rush to secure the ship and any other potential technology that laid hidden in the dunes became every developed nation's top priority. Long-term alliances between standing superpowers disintegrated overnight. Old, embittered enemies immediately began fighting our world's largest air war within 24 hours of the Discovery's announcement. A small world war began in earnest in the dune seas. It wasn't a politician, an expert negotiator, a world leader that stopped the madness. Just a single low-ranking military officer. A second lieutenant to the 1st Auxiliary Artillery Battalion, whose third world country happened to border the Dune Sea. His unit arrived at the site 12 hours before the battles began and set up a defensive position around the alien starship. Watching from the bridge of an ancient alien tower now looming over the deserts, unburied by recent high winds of a passing sandstorm, he could see the fiery flashes of weapons fire, the explosions of aircraft hulls and fuel detonating into the sands and cliff sides just a few miles away. No one dared fight near the ship to risk damaging it. Inside the vessel, he could see wonders of technology he couldn't possibly comprehend. As he walked the halls, he admired the artwork on display in the bulkheads, symbols and logos of organizations possibly long dead. It was the mural on the bridge that grabbed his attention most, though. A painting of a spiraling galaxy, spread among the stars and nebula, symbols of unknown worlds rich in color and vastly different designs. All alien, all but one. One he recognized. It was the single symbol he knew. The single word that permeates all cultures, religions, the circle and the cog. The symbol of home, defense, of family on our world. In a wideband transmission to all fighting forces in the area of the Dune Sea, Lieutenant Roland announced his location inside the starship. He identified himself, his unit, his country of origin. He described in great detail the things he had seen, the images and murals, including the one that stood behind him on the bridge, the symbol of home and the small mark that designated the symbol's location, what he believed to be our collective planet. He then described the massive amounts of ammunition his artillery unit had at its disposal and how its men had spread those explosives throughout the ship. He demanded each military leader of the current forces on the ground come, witness the vessel, its technology, and realize how petty this fighting is. How this could be a moment our people could grow beyond its single world, or die through their actions knowing that this battle would not be contained to this large wasteland. Only a matter of time before the rest of the world was engulfed in flames. Thirteen commanders, five captains, and two lieutenants from a litany of world governments made their way to the ship. Many mark this doubt as the first calling of the Senate. Now, 130 years later, we together launch the Havania, a Pathfinder starship with alien technology powering an experimental engine capable of traveling the great distances between stars. We now cut live the very first jump marking our expansion into the greater universe. My name is Captain Shaq. Thanks for watching.
ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome to the newest season of Stellaris. I know it's been a while since we've done one of these, because, well, I've been waiting to get my new rig and then get all of the mods installed. There is a list of mods in the description below. This is not all the mods that I'm playing with. I'm actually playing with quite a few off the Steam Workshop. Uh, some of them, though, I want to leave as kind of surprises for the ongoing campaign. In this season, we are playing as the Galactic Republic. We are a fanatic egalitarian society, meaning, uh, well, we are all about having a balance between members of our society, right? No, no one's needs put over someone else's. At the same time, uh, we are xenophiles. We're really excited to get out into the universe and find other species and governments to learn from, and it's gonna be a very different campaign, I think, than some of the other ones we've played as. It'll be interesting to see how this goes, or if these change. Now, our civics, I picked up Beacon of Liberty as having this, uh, all of the nations of our planet have come together, so we'll get a little bit of extra unity out of that. Let's look at the actual bonuses we're getting. Uh, we get faction influence gain plus 50%, uh, so easier to, um, uh, to stay unified as a group. We also have Utopian Living Standards, which I haven't really messed around with. I haven't played a lot of the new expansions. It's going to be a little bit of an experience for me. Xenophiles, our trade value is going up, and our diplomatic influence cost is down by 25%. Our traits, uh, Continental is the kind of world that we like. There's actually the world. I haven't even looked around the map yet. I just launched it. So here is our home world now that we have uh, about to open up the galaxy for exploration. Uh, let's go ahead and read through our... Oh, that's right. We're Rapid Breeders as well. And we have a really cool Civic that comes with the Star Wars mod, Kami uh, Noan Cloning. So we have found in wrecked alien technology on our world. We have found not only a new engine that can take us to the stars, but cloning technology that will allow us to actually grow our society way faster. So that's a thing. There's actually a general bonus, uh, and I'll find it somewhere, where we actually grow faster. And I picked up Rapid Breeders to give a little bit more of, a, of an increase. One of my plans is to have really fast population growth in this campaign. I've never focused on that before. And communal, we're, we're always coming together, so we've got a little bit of a, whoops, hit my microphone, a little bit of um, a, a drop on population housing usage. So that'll help probably a little bit. But our lifespans are fleeting. We don't live for very long, so we've got to make an impact while we can. All right, so in the eon since the first primitive citizens, uh, that's the name of the, 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 our group, uh, communities took shape in the meadows and forests of New Republic. Our civilization has spread and prospered. We are driven forward by steady scientific progress. All right, let's get started. Uh, whoa, that's, that was a weird zoom in. So, because we're using the Star Wars mod pack, we have to make a few choices. Now, there are no, and I, I'm saddened by this, there are no Republic uh, technology fighters. So we're gonna have to choose either using the, uh, the Rebel Icons only, and I think it's like vanilla ship models, or we could use Rebel or Empire. We're gonna take with the Rebel Strike Craft. We're Research concluded. Uh, what are we gonna have? X-Wings, A-Wings, and Y-Wings at some point once we have uh, hangar bays. So cool. I'll uh, go ahead and close that. And what color bolts would we like to use? Because we have new weapon technology that is in the game that not only we can use, but so can the AI. Uh, so we're gonna take... I think we're gonna go with blue. Knowledge is the key to the campaign. universe. That way ours is, is, is kind of standardized. All right, let's go through our research and see what we can pick up. We have the defense turbo lasers now, uh, and we'll be able to get more and more technology in the way of turbo lasers as we go through this campaign. And there's a ton, I guess, of different types of, uh, of weapons tech based on like ship size and stuff. It's gonna be pretty cool. Wow, strike fighters right away as an option. Um, I don't think we'd get a hangar, right? We wouldn't have a hangar for uh, basic strike craft. I have to look real quick before we do this. Ship designer, there isn't a hangar. Whoa, stay paused. I don't think there's a hangar for a ship this small. Yeah, this is the only ship we've got right now is the uh, patrol craft and then the small Corvette picket ship, which is gonna be more like anti, uh, I would assume anti-fighter because we do have point defense on it. But as you can see, yeah, no hangar options in it. We'd have to have, I think, destroyer class minimum for something like that. And the only fighters we could actually get would be on the defense station. So let's not go with hangar technology just yet. I don't feel like we're there. Uh, starting from the engineering section. Uh, you know what? Let's go with 20% from our mines. From any miners. That could be really useful early on. 
Ooh, but 20% flat bonus to research? Mm. Let's go for mines now, because we're gonna be building science ships and other upgrades. Uh, for you, off-world trading companies. We haven't met anyone else, so eh. We also get value for trade. Hydroponics bays are nice for farms, and I did say we were going to focus on population growth, so. This would give us hydroponic bays. By dedicating a section of the star base to the hydroponic farming, the station will be able to feed its, oh, it's station based on this, yeah, star base building. Uh, I'm have to get back into the flow of things, guys, so we have to get used to this. So let's go ahead and get 20% on scientific research. Can't go wrong with that. And I'll do the same for quantum theory for now. All right, go ahead and then pause. So they've added some really cool stuff into this. Now I can jump up to here and look at our resources, and I can actually buy stuff from the market using those credits directly. This is awesome. You can even do automatic trade, so if you know you're gonna have tons of minerals because you've gone full and like ham on mining, then let's go ahead and get our science ship active. Oh, that's right, let's get these ships named and captained. I'll be right back. And let's go ahead and name the fleet to finish it up. We'll call this the, uh, we'll call this the first, Grand Fleet. There we go. So that's our first Republic Fleet. So to give you a rundown of what we've got here, I've renamed the system. This is the core system where all of our, uh, well, the beginning of our empire will start. Here's our home world of the Grand Republic, which is pretty nice. And we're in a binary system, which I didn't expect. Very cool. So let's get this started. We have Captain Rachel Beam of the Havania. Let's get you moving out to our newest system. Now I haven't even seen the map to see where we are. Interesting. I kind of want to maybe angle for the nebula first off. Let's start exploring. So off to the first system. As the intro said, we will see this one live. Our first science ship moving out into the galaxy. Oh man, start of a new campaign. Fantastic. Now, I love that the, uh, the Republic uses the Gazante. It's an interesting choice. This is gonna be custom ships for a lot of the different factions, including our own. Um, we don't have to design these anymore, do we? They just kinda come with a default setup, I would assume. Ship designer, new design. Yeah, that's what I thought, patrol craft. Hmm. Okay, good to know, good to know. We don't have a lot of technology, though we do probably wanna switch over to blaster cannons and picket ships. Really, probably not the best choice. Why don't we switch over to medium weapons and fill these out with blaster cannons. And why don't we go with maybe a deflector shield and that. Can we afford it? Yeah, that's good. That'll work. That'll work. Uh, what's, what's up with the can't save? Can't save, cannot make exchanges because of raisins. Because you guys are set to auto-generate. That's why, get out of here. Sweet, there we go, now we can clear it. So let's go ahead and switch you back over to, I'm thinking, I mean, for this early, let's go two smalls. Auto complete and then swap you guys out. Now what I think it's doing is that we're not getting a damage bonus from this. You have 50% armor? Interesting. Uh, we're not getting a damage, does that already exist on another ship size? Design of that name. Oh, that name, the name is wrong. Okay, what are we gonna call this? This is what, the counselor class, isn't it? So I would say this is your standard. Support vessel, so we'll call it the... All right, there we go, we've got our design. I just need a quick name for this. Drop some names in the comments below for what we should name the fleet. Uh, for now, I'm gonna go with the simple, uh, let's call it the Raven class. Raven class patrol craft, done and done. So you've got a bit of a design too. You can get rid of the dark all. Uh, I think the reason it's recommending that I use um, normal blasters is probably because they do, uh, they do even damage across the board, I see. Um, but I think we'll get a bonus if we can find some Tabana gas. So hopefully our science vessel will do just that. Uh, at the same time, the discovery of alien life. The RS Havania has made a startling find on SPAD 2. Already? I just gave it orders to fly out. 
its first planet, and it finds alien life. The planet is teeming with alien life. For the first time in our history, we have encountered life forms that do not originate on the Grand Republic. All right, interesting. Let's go ahead and build some mining stations as well. What's our mining ship look like? It is another Gazanti. Cool. And the mining ship is under Captain Clark, the Ishimura. Go ahead and get your mines going. Uh, now we've got what? Uh, this planet can support construction of additional buildings. Do we want to expand the capital already? Contact report, planetary, planetary and Malia. Uh, let's see, the Galactic Republic is abuzz with news of alien life found on, by the Vanya. Interesting. Fascinating beings defy easy classification. Well, continue to scan and we'll find out more. Population growth. So there's our population growth. We have uh, genome mapping already, so we're getting plus 10%. We have rapid ble breeders, and we have cloning technology. So we've already got a pretty sizable bonus, and I want to keep this going if possible. Uh, how are we doing on housing? We have 10 houses available, and we have no jobs available, and we have one population is working on. I don't know where you'd migrate to. We only have one planet. So do we want to pick up? I think our capital is going to be very focused on energy and credit production, most likely. Can you build anything of interest? Uh, there is planetary Tabana gas mines. Tabana mines allow specialized miners to drill down into a planet's crust and harvest pockets. I'd rather get that from a station if we can find some just in, in orbit of one of the systems while the rest of the fleet works on stuff. Hmm. Some unity early would be nice. System survey concluded. Let's get a monument. The first pioneers to venture into space and get a little bit of that unity coming in so we can get some of our perks early on. Now, I am curious what we're going to go with. We'll probably do a vote in the comments section. It's well done. You've already scanned this. Must be a really, yeah, a really empty sector. Uh, is there anything in here? Just a little bit of extra power and some barren dead worlds. All right, then. I'll send you to the next one. Uh, let's go... Let's see how we go here. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to pick up our first new ship. We'll pick up a science vessel. Another science class ship. And let's go ahead and then pause. Now, we do have a little bit of a navy to help defend our space. Uh, it's not much, though. Uh, in the first Grand Fleet, we have the... On you, get a look at you. Uh, we have the Star Runner under Captain Shran. We have the Anvil under Captain Rowe, and we have the Reliant under Somberdock. And we have our oh no, yeah, that's right. You get your first transition or tra uh, tradition almost right away. Hmm. Discovery would allow us to research through anomalies really, really fast. It would also give us. Uh, let's see, anomaly research speed increased by 20%, and then we could go through these. No, hmm. Now, I know we'll blow through this one really, really fast, whichever one we end up taking. I'm a little on the fence on what to actually grab. As we go through, what is it, prosperity? I think we can get growth speed. Mining station. Maybe it's harmony. Ethics attraction, amenities. Leader lifespan. Let's see, the time it takes for unemployed pops to demote to a lower stratum to reduce. Hmm. That might not actually be a terrible idea, just for the fact that we, uh... Stay extra stability. That we would, um... We're not gonna have so many population if I end up really stacking this hard. So we can have just this huge galactic population spreading out among the galaxy. Like, that's kind of what I have in mind. Oh, expansion would give us instant one pop, so we don't have to wait for the first one to run through. Reducing starship and administration capacity. There's the population growth speed. I think we're gonna take expansion early on. Now, I normally would do discovery because people talk about like optimum play and getting out there and you're gonna be wanting to get those extra bonuses from the research, but going for what we are, expansion into the galaxy see, as the Republic seems like a better choice. Also, that pop growth speed. Even another 10%. Yeah, let's do it. So that'll be our first one. So start, let's vote in the comments below on what we should do for our second. Uh, and what we should actually pick up for, quickly unit here, our ascension perk. Like what route should we take? All right, science ship, you are, where are you at? You're just making your way to the next sector. Um, we can't name these until we actually 
own them, can't we? No, yeah. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. We have our Imperials, or our Republic Sprawl. Construction we'll keep an eye completed. On that. We don't want to go beyond that and start taking resource hits. The Core Starbase has finished its construction mm -hmm. queue. Excellent. Let's pick up a new scientist. Recruit. Uh, military Theory. Leader Lifespan. Anomaly Research Speed. Welcome aboard. Uh, I need to name you. I will name you in the next episode. Um... Yeah, I'll name you in the next one, so I don't have to keep going back to the uh, the Google Doc for sure. So, we have two science ships. Let's spread them out in two different directions. Let's send the other one south and start exploring this way. I'm going to give you orders to actually go here first and then kind of curve up here. I want to see what the lines are, where they run. Since we're so close to the edge anyways, if we can put our backs to the wall, that'd be kind of nice. I think it'd be kind of nice. All right, how are we doing? We have two potentially habitable planets that need to be scanned down. One of them is continental. Uh, which would be this one. Interesting. We could pick up our first planet. It's a wet climate, rocky world with nitrogen, oxygen, atmosphere, active and stable hydrosphere. Construction completed. The great landmass were separated by oceans. Hmm, yeah, we could make a move for this. Planetary features, what do you got? Breatharian fields. What? 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 Construction completed. Did I already read that? Oh, you finished the mining stations. Well, first thing we're going to do is that this is obviously going to be more valuable than this dead rock. So let's go ahead and... Oh, I need to connect you guys, don't I? I should probably own the sectors just directly around us. You know, come over here. Move here. And you... Go ahead and survey this system, but immediately go over and survey this system. We need to have the, um, the sectors connected so it doesn't cost us the extra influence. Construction ship, uh, we're doing, you know what, scratch my old, no, you're fine, keep doing what you're doing, you're fine. I was going to pick up the research here, but it's going to cost us 200 minerals, and we don't have a lot of income right now. Let's put it on pause. Uh, we'll speed up time a little bit so things start moving along. So Brax, Bralix, Bralix is down there. Oh, wow, you guys are getting so renamed. So, I'm going to take planetary names either from governors who are on the Patreon or from you guys in the comments if I don't have any there. So, give me some pages, some uh, uh, some planet names, some sector names if we need them. I don't know if we actually have to make the sector names. But, um, you know what I mean. These sectors. Solar system names. That's the word I'm thinking of. Okay, you're scanning through there. How much of a system is this to scan? You've got multiple points to get through. Okay. Grand Republic, we have run out of jobs because our monument isn't finished yet. We'll be done in three Construction turns. Construction completed. Excellent. Uh, it's going to take them a little while to get people working on it. How are we doing on consumer goods? I've got to get used to this whole new resource mm -hmm. thing. Do you guys have any hints, tips about how to best utilize like consumer goods and all that? Let Anomalous readings registered. What do we got? An anomaly in the Bralix system. An abandoned ship has been left to adrift aimlessly above the planet. The massive sails protruding from its hull suggest that... I think every season, almost every season, we've had the solar sail thing come up. I'm going to let it leave be for now. We'll come back to it later. Uh, I kind of want to pick up another science ship, but... Do we? Do we want to? System survey concluded. Yeah, we're gonna claim you. We're definitely gonna claim you. You, come down here. Survey this sector. He's already heading there, so go ahead and survey this. The reason that I'm not doing that is because it's just gonna take a little too long, and I really wanna get these early areas surveyed. Okay, so you should be moving out. Unpause. Let's get these scanned. And you, construction ship, come with me. As soon as that's scanned, we're moving you down to the south. We'll grab this, we'll grab this. I think we're gonna ignore this dead planet back here for right now. I don't wanna use the um, this empire sprawl at the moment. It's not worth it. For one extra point of what, two power? Eh. And the influence. It's not like I got a, done, a punch of that coming. Survey system completed. Indeed. Now, what would it cost? Uh, 150, so it would blow through most of it. And now, what if I just move you here, grab this, then that? 
I think it's at like half the price or something. We'll check it. For science. <laughs> How goes your scanning? Come on, find something useful here. I'm tempted to pick up another science ship. I really am. Right, you're using um, the, the new resource alloys. We have to refine our minerals into alloys. I need to do that on planets now. So that's, that's a thing we're gonna have to work around. Hmm. System survey concluded. Credits are gonna be our biggest problem at the moment. What is your upkeep cost? Let's pause for a second. Uh, one power for a science ship. That sounds worth. Let's pick up one more science ship. So we're gonna have three of you guys running around. Uh, da, 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 da. You finished your job? Excellent. A little bit of power, a little bit of research. I'm gonna go ahead and have you do the research for this. That could be much needed resources. Maybe we can claim something. How big is this? What? Tradition is ready to go. Let's get, let's go for that pop. So we'll get one pop as soon as we colonize and one pop as soon as, um, or 10% population growth right away. This is gonna be nice. On top of what we already have. Can we like feed them more? Is that a thing we can still do? I remember having like food, maybe this was on a different mod, but it used to be like a certain amount of food uh, would increase your population growth if you had a certain amount over your like your required. So that may be something like policy now or something like that, food policy. We have detected an anomaly. Here it is, here it is. Growth speed, uh, but it's gonna eat up more food. Pop growth speed, biological pop happiness. If we were to do this, 25% more food required. Kind of want to try. 25% more. What are we What are we burning through right now? You guys are eating 25 at the moment. So, eh, not yet. Let's get, maybe let's get an agricultural um, planet. Let's get an Aggie world going so we can grow food for the entire sector. Anomaly, uh, 180 day research time. Eh, okay, so we're talking a few months. Let's see, the Colossal Impact Crater hints that something big collided with the surface of this planet. Actually, go ahead and research that. The reason being, it sounds like that's gonna be a mineral thing. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at those resources coming in over there. How are you doing? Yeah, you're doing fine. Habitable world. We now know, without a doubt, that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to the Grand Republic. Both. Uh, the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of life. Commendable initiative, or we have more important things to focus on. Hmm. Do we want to do the survey or not? I think we'll do it. Situation we'll do log it. has it been fits updated. The story. Construction completed. So far, so we'll do it. Construction completed. We have a new science vessel. Let's grab another leader. Recruit. What do we have here? Uh, eager. Let's see. Leadership cost. You're cheap. Actually, cheap's not bad. This is the first time where I may actually want to go cheaply. Or a longer lifespan. Cheap. Because we're going to send you to the far-flung edges of the galaxy. We're going to have to find all of our science ships. We're going to have all of our scientists used up in, like, the first episode. So you're researching that. You're researching that. Mmm. Yeah, I'm gonna send you way out. And go. Done and done. How are you doing? You're working on the crater on this fiery death moon. A moon that already gives us three to trade. This is an at bad start. Hard work and experience. Governor has developed new skills. We need more governors too. That's something we're gonna have to go through and name everybody. Uh, particularly you patrons that wanted to be governors, you gotta make sure you put that in there, in your description. So that I can read it and see it. Alright, I think most people want to be <laughs> combat captains. They want to be in the fleet. Which I am severely just ignoring at the moment. You're docked, right? Into orbit? Yeah, you're docked up. Okay, just making sure. I do need to re-outfit you. What will that cost us? Oh, that's not bad. Go ahead and outfit. I want them to have the energy weapons. Ship upgrades ones. applied. First Grand Fleet, ready to go. Solar Sailor. Okay, so what do we find? Uh, we have discovered an abandoned Solar Sailor ship in the orbit around Praxis-1. The sublight engine was built by an unknown culture. 
Oh man, they did this in DS9. And appears to be several thousand years old. One of the massive sails has a large tear where some kind of object passed through. Uh, probably a meteorite or something. It does possess some interesting engineering choices, so that just pushed us ahead in engineering research. We do need to pick up the engineering research here. We're just letting that go, and it's no good. Uh, I'm just a little worried about power output. Uh, let's see. Is there anything that you can build to give us more power? I know alloys are going to end up being... Oh, yeah, this is a thing. So one of the mods that I installed was the planetary defense mods. We can have literal military bases on the ground, not just the fortifications. Uh, home of the planetary defense force. Use the planetary decision planetary defense force to enact this base. So if we built this. Um, we will get plus two to shipwright jobs. This is an alloy upkeep. Ooh. This is patrol craft, yeah. So this has all kinds of cool things where we can actually have a military on the ground defending a planet. I also have um, hypervelocity cannons installed, so those are going to be fun. Uh, at the moment, we don't have anything that's going to really give us any power except for maybe picking up a district. Uh, how many jobs do we have? We only have one available. Let's go ahead and pick up an energy district because I'm scared. Meaning this should generate power, right? Rows of massive power plants that generate large amounts of energy which can then be used or converted into energy credits. Good. A massive crater. Okay, this is the crater in Kesso right here. A massive crater in Kesso 1 appears to be the result of a collision with a starship. Holy crap, I thought it was a rock. From the size of the crater, we suspect the ship exiting a hyperlane at maximum velocity rammed the planet some 10,000 years ago. Picked up unusual subspace echoes near the crash site, remnants of a collapsed hyperparticle field. But as the ship itself disintegrated on impact, the theory cannot be verified. All right, we're just getting a little bit of research, but it's not... It's not great. It's not great. Uh, contact report. The remnants. Weeks after the Darmel, uh, the mysterious uh, folks for her survey vessel, citizens... Xenologists are particularly falling over themselves to publish their takes on the findings of Braxel 1. This fevered storm the scientific community has had some negative yet temporary impact on the pursuit of other fields. Ah, oh, shit. So it's affecting my research currently? Ah, okay. Yeah. Physics have dropped up by 12%. Spark of genius. Sort of research. I'll take that 28% upgrade. That'll be a long-term Nice addition. I'm about to just build this. How, how, how big is this sector? You have to be getting close to being done. Yeah, no, you're surveying it now. All right, all right, it's fine, it's fine. I can't, I can't build there and claim it until after you get finished. You're not doing anything? Get to work. I have so many things for you to survey. Hopefully these are dead-end systems. I kind of want to just claim this little area. Um, there you go. You're doing your job. This doesn't go anywhere? Wow, this is a dead-end system. It goes nowhere. Unexpected. What did you find? Ooh, kyber crystals. Required for heavy turbo laser research. Yes, please. Yes, please. Oh, ooh, holy crap. Bit of an asteroid field in this one. Could use this. I'll call intergalactic dibs on this. Thanks. Science ship, how are you doing? You gotta be almost done. Right? System survey concluded. I feel like I'm already getting a little behind. You know what we're gonna do? Can we afford it? Colony ship. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Yes, done. Continental world colony ship. Load them up, we're heading out. We already know there's one right here. By the time you're done here, we'll be able to build this. System survey, you're done right here, are you? You are, there's another world. There's a 16 continental versus a 17 arctic and 16 continental. The arctic we can't really do anything with, but yeah, no, we'll colonize both of those. Those will be our first two colonized worlds. Well, shit, you're done back here, so why don't you go north? I'm gonna send you off. Uh, no, I have to name you. We're gonna name this ship right now. I really like this name. Don't worry, I'm still gonna put you in as a battleship captain like you wanted, but I really like this name and it's kind of fitting, so we're gonna put you in as uh, Captain CT. 
1995 as the Evan Hawk. Actually, we'll just rename the scientist. So the ship itself will always be known as the Evan Hawk, surviving the centuries, uh, as long as you don't get blown up by some alien force. But who is aboard currently the Evan Hawk? Does not actually say what ship you're aboard, does it? You're up the top. There you are. There we go. Sadly, I don't have robots, because it sounds like... No, CT would be a clone designation. Boom. Done. There you go. The science ship Ebon Hawk is now joined... Anomalous readings registered. Is heading, is heading north. What do we got? The Voltam Star Assembly. We have recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization. Foul... Uh, on foul... What is that? Four Alpha. They must have been active in the region of space approximately 12 million years ago. So we've got our precursor event. From what we've been able to piece together, our scientists theorize that the aliens who call themselves the Voltam Star Assembly were worm-like, really worm-like, roughly three to four meters in length, talk to each other through vibrations. Situation log Indeed. has been updated. Well, because we have so many science ships, hopefully. Construction completed. Who are you doing? Is this the asteroid in orbit? Definitely scan that. I want you to research the anomaly and continue the system. Tell me you're almost done. I really want to claim this. I'm totally going to get two colony ships. So I'm going to need names for both of our new colonies. System survey concluded. System survey concluded. Indeed. You're done. Fantastic. Go ahead and build. That was 75. Yeah, it was half the cost. That's exactly what I thought. And then we'll go ahead and build this here. Cool beans. Let's get you rolling out toward the uh, core. Yeah, we'll send you toward the core and see where it goes. So the only way in and out of the sector so far is north, south, and west. Inwards toward the galactic core. Intriguing. Hmm. We haven't seen any kind of threats, and I haven't built anything into our... Oh, boy. Into our uh, our military, and I'm starting to think that maybe, especially as we expand out now, we need to pick up another alloy foundry. Uh, how's our population growth? It's currently whoa, it's currently 18.4, and I believe all these bonuses will end up. Speaking of bonuses will end up applying to all of the planets. So, a new life. A new life awaits our citizens in the off-world colonies. A chance to begin again in a golden land of opportunity and adventure. Oh, I love the Blade Runner quotes. It's fantastic. Very great. With the help of an aggressive marketing campaign, less fortunate elements of our society will be flocking to our colonies and ships. And it's just a straight growth speed, though, so it's not actually um, people moving from one planet to the other. Would you, for some reason, someone has towed an asteroid into orbit of uh, Foul 4 Alpha. I'm renaming you. The massive engines and sections of braking forces can still be found on the surface. Interesting. That Anomalous readings registered. Technology. What'd you pick up? Atmospheric patterns of this gas giant are highly atypical. Go ahead and research it. All right, we have the, what is the construction ship maintenance cost? It is one. I am going to drop... Anomalous readings registered. I am going to drop another 100 on to a construction ship. And what I think we're going to do is we're going to go to you. No, we'll wait. We'll wait. I'm going to go to the, um, the capital, and I'm going to put down another um, metal refinery. We're going to need that because we're burning through it. We're already down to only 96. But it's going to eat through minerals, and I want to make sure we've got more coming in. So first thing I'm going to do is secure... The structure ship's already there, and he's already working on it. Is secure some mineral output on these uh, worlds we're claiming now. And no real good mineral planets yet. Okay, Deceptive Giant. What we had assumed was an abnormally small gas giant is, in fact, not. Beneath the deceptive... Uh, cover of thick dust swirling in the upper atmosphere lies a regular planet. A barren planet, but a planet nonetheless. This has proven quite embarrassing to our astrological community. He's getting a kind of experience for that. Nice. 
already researching precursor. We have detected an anomaly. What did you pick up? Rectangular small object at the surface of the moon is deflecting our scans. Mm, we'll come back to it. Finish scanning this. Construction oh, completed. Exactly. Perfect. Mining stations go down. It's going to eat a lot of our minerals, but worth it. So here's what our stations look like. These are actually the medical stations from the Clone Wars series. Uh, Peltas would actually dock heading upwards into these, like, open areas. Kind of cool. I like their use. And we should have... Uh, what do our mines look like? Okay, those are default. But I think the Tabana gas platforms will actually look like Tabana gas. Construction completed. So, we have a colony ship. The question is, where do we want to put it? I mean, we have another one already building. Let's put it where we can actually colonize. Come on over here. We're going to set foot on this new world. Oh, it's got a ring on it, too. Cool. Go ahead and colonize the planet. I need a name for this world from you guys. So let me know in the comments what you think. I'll write down some of the good ones. Send it over. Because we can always rename. We just click it. We'll click down here and rename it. System survey concluded. Scientists have all leveled up. Good. Okay, everybody should be on the move. Our new construction ship is finished and out. Let's get you... Uh, let's go ahead and get you claiming... Oh, we can't do that, huh? Let's get you moving here and taking over the power output. Because we know power is going to be gigantic. Hey, we might as well start making use of the territory we've taken. I know I need to take this research. I'm missing out on some decent research. Hmm. We will. We'll do it. Colony ship should be in the way. What's our colony ship look like? It is a, it's a, it's an acclimator. Nice. Very cool. I think I can actually get these as my destroyers. I think they're considered destroyer class. I could be wrong. Later on. But right now, it's making its way to our new sector with all of its colony, all of its colonists and all of its, turn that off. Gear and equipment for starting a new life on the edge of the known galaxy. Still a pretty game, absolutely. Dun, 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 dun. Anomalous readings registered. Uh, my goal for this season is to be much, much faster, to keep this on fast and just see how it goes. Uh, what'd you find? Atmospheric readings on front do not match simulated projections. Uh, where are you? What, what system are you currently in, Hawk? I think I sent you north. No, that would be the Grim North. It's kind of a cool name for a ship. The Hawk is way down south. Oh, look what you found, too. Continue to scan. I want to put some claims out there because I want this six power. That's actually a really nice system. Dun, 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 dun. How are you doing? You building that mining station for me? That you are. Now, there is one other thing that we can do. Uh, I, I just thought about this. Decisions. Can we, what does it take? Ah, so we can do a, a, a decree, growth encouragement, modifiers for 120 months, giving the following effect, 25 population growth. Our population growth is gonna be through the freaking roof. That means that we're gonna have to prioritize the production of food in the galaxy. And maybe, maybe we should go ham with food. Like we, we have the technology for cloning, right? We go ham with food and then when we find other empires, we trade them food and make them friends. That could be an interesting strategy, focusing on that resource. Also, how we could get a lot of our metals. Hmm. I don't know if it's possible, but we could try it. All right, what are you doing? Grim? You do you, buddy. You do you. System survey completed. Avania? I want you to finish your research there, and then I have a job for you. I'm gonna just send you across the galaxy so we can start meeting other uh, races and see where they're like located. So, <gasps> you, what did you find? You found Tabana gas inside this rock. Construction oh, Tabana completed. Tabana gas in the asteroid field. I'm actually quite happy about this. There's a lot of shit in this asteroid field. We need a name a for this. A new world of opportunities Tabana gas, awaits. Uh, gives a, if refined, I believe, a damage bonus to Turbo laser technology. Our colony ship has gently touched down 
on the mouth of a large river delta on this horribly named planet it's going to be renamed. But our colonists certainly hadn't thought about it much. A great day for the Galactic Republic. Also, thanks for the engineering research. Yeah, we're still going through our earliest research. We're so bad. All right, construction ship. Pick up that bio research, because I think we're going to want to do a lot of farming technology and then come back here and pick up another research. Are you still building mines? Yeah, you're building mining stations over this dead world. Okay. Looking good so far. We need to get the construction ship sent over here as soon as possible. So we need to go boop, boop. How are we doing on Empire Sprawl? We have a admin cap of 30, and we're currently at 20. And there are things we can do to increase this. We do not suffer any penalties. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That might be worth it just for the, uh, I think it's a tradition we can go with. We could go with, is it expansion? Do we already take it? Yeah, we already took it. Cool. We're going to be able to go even farther past that. Excellent. Mm -hmm. I do want to get a little bit of a sprawl going, so. Should be good. Hurry up. Impossible. Build all the things, build all the things. How is the capital doing? Uh, we have two jobs remaining on the planet right now. We have 10 housing. So housing's doing okay. Um, I'm gonna make one of these new worlds a farming, agricultural world. So we don't wanna put anything on that. We got 27 minerals coming in. Research concluded. What do we get for this? Like, what is this? Oh, I know what that is. That is naval capacity. Building a planetary defense force base gives us naval capacity. Job-based production. Engineering. Unity. Oh, wow. You actually get a lot of cool stuff out of this. Hmm. Well, engineering technology will get more unity. We also get the ability to defend ourselves. But it's four power. Let's build it. Just in case, we'll have our planetary defense force online. Also want to see how well that mod works. A little bit more about how the mod works. You're doing your mining construction. Construction oh, completed. The rust bucket. Always have a rust bucket. All right, society research is finished. Let's pick up plus two jobs from soldiers. Oh, naval capacity goes up. That's actually kind of cool, but additional campaigns, administration path, defense army damage. <sighs> this sounds more. This sounds more like the Republic. Defense armies kicking the crap out of stuff. You having a really strong ground army. All right, here we go. Starbase influence cost down 10%. That's not so great, but I am really excited by the administration cap and then the starbase upkeep cap. So we'll be able to build some star bases out there. Construction ship, what are you doing? Absolutely nothing. All right, come on over here then and build us an outpost. Now hopefully by the time you're done that, we'll have enough influence to pick up one here. Colony ship, are you done? Anomalous readings registered. No. I only built one. I thought I built two. I want to build. Let's build two. I'm going ham on these early, so they'll start growing populations on these two worlds. Did I change the name of the system to the Rust Bucket system instead of the construction ship? Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. The Rust Bucket. Don't worry, we'll give that a different name. But currently, the Rust Bucket system needs a rename. That's what I meant to do. That's better than its old name. And oh, can I build this? You are already building the research stations, aren't you? You are. What do my research stations look like? Okay. Weird. That's weird. You're weird. We'll take it. That's, the research doesn't show up in there. Base is 19 right now, or plus 14. System bonus. survey concluded. Science vessel, you have finished your job. Well done. Continue to survey through these sectors. Have you finished your last one yet? 
Not yet. System survey concluded. You are done, though. Construction completed. Hmm. Yeah, I have a job for you. I want you to go up to the nebula. You can't? No system. What? There's no route. Oh, do I have Anomalous to readings Ooh. registered. Go explore. I want to know if there's any alien life nearby. I want to start making those relationships and start building those up. What do we have? Turbo laser technology, general 5% research, meh. And we don't really need the fusion reactor. Let's go. Wait, monthly energy credits? What? Ship size weaponry. Monthly energy credits increase by five? Resource capacity goes up by a thousand. It's only 500 research and turbo laser research. Data. Yeah, no, there's no reason not to. We have so much little power coming in. Uh, mineral purification plant. Minerals that have passed through these purifiers are the highest of qualities. And you get 15%. This would be great for, like, mining planets. I'm gonna go with that. I mean, the armor would be nice. But I think we're gonna stay away from going too warlike just yet. System oh, survey okay. concluded. You You're building that. How much is it gonna cost for this? 60. We have 75. All right, cool. We can pick that up. As soon as it's done, you're picking up your secondary research base. Good. Good. Our technology will actually start building up now. Construction completed. Construction completed. What do you Construction got? Construction completed. Cool. Build a mining station, and I want that um, society research for the farming research, because farming means growth speed for us. So we're going to do that. Chip, what are you doing? Nothing. Come on over here. There's all kinds of power. Get over here. You know what I kind of want to do? Hmm. What could we sell? We don't really need to sell it. Buy. So what I'm thinking, let me know in the comments. I'm curious what your guys' opinions are. We could use our excess energy credits to buy up food and in, because we need to get a thousand food. If we get a thousand food, per planet, we can kick off this decision to increase our growth rate by another 25%. Oh, hey, there's the planetary defense thing. Open the main screen for planetary defense force. This is that mod. What? Planetary fleet size. Deployed total max. Ship size and use patrol craft. Planetary defense cost 75. Reinforcement cost. You can transfer resources to the Grand Republic. Manually deploy the fleet. This is cool. This is really cool. And it'll it'll store local resources apparently. So it's kind of a, it's ha it's basically having a garrison on the planet that can be launched into space to help defend a sector. I think it's at a cheaper cost too. Now, how are you doing? You are very, ever so slowly becoming a colony. This is why I wanted to get those colony ships out quickly. Uh, you're almost done with your colony ship construction. Eight days. Oh, crap. Eight days. I need another construction ship. What are you doing with your life right now? Come over here. Construction completed. We're not going to have the damn influence to build this here for the colony ship that's almost done. It is done. Um, crap. Yeah crap. I can't colonize this until we own it. No, stay in sector. Stay in sector. We need a little bit more influence. All PDF bases to system hostile stance. What? Enable the use of, all, of AI use of Star Wars weapons? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't know why that costs one one energy credit for me. It's kind of bold, but okay. Oh, we can choose these edicts. There's some really cool stuff in here. Map the stars. Survey speed would increase. Encourage political thought. Use exotic gases as fuel. Very neat. All right. I want to get this locked down. They should already be using it. I'm just going to assume it's working now. We have a colony ship just sitting around. 
like debating, this doesn't have a lot of natural resources, so I'm gonna say take this first and then send the colony ship up there. Uh, did we pick up, no, not you. Did we pick up, start with one pop already? Yeah, we did, awesome. So as soon as this is up and running, we'll actually have two pops. You, how are your population doing? Uh, three jobs remaining and housing. So we're keeping up with it okay. You can see what the planet is actually Construction completed. I think we're gonna go with more power. Because we're running out of jobs. Because the pops, I think, are growing so fast. That's more minerals. I'm gonna need those for the mines, though. We're about to get more power already. I think Rust Bucket Prime is gonna be one of our agricultural worlds, or we can put the Aggie world back here. Hmm, debatable. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Put it in the back where it'd probably be more defended. They'd have to go through basically the capital to get back to our farming worlds. Uh, or put it up front in the place we've already got established and have it start growing. Or we can mix them so we don't have all of our eggs, all of our eggs in one basket, all of our chickens on one planet. Hmm. Construction yeah, I think completed. More energy, to be honest. For now, because energy, you can buy anything with it. All right, let's prioritize. System the survey stuff that needs concluded. To be built. Let's get the <laughs> orbital stations online for this. I don't have enough cash, I think, to make the full <laughs> this and this. Nice. All right, we're gonna lock that down. Looking pretty good. Oh, construction ship, what are you doing? Can we forward? We are lacking 11. By the time you get there, I will be able to start building that. And colony ship, go ahead and make your uh, your route over. We'll lock this down, we'll start our secondary colony. I like the little hole we're in back here. Uh, and galactic ambitions. Starbase upkeep 20%. Well, we don't have that much in the way of starbases. Administration cap, yes. So. We are gonna go from a sprawl of, and we are over, we are at 30 of 30. Boom. Let that kick in. Plus 20, courier network, right? Yeah, so we shouldn't be taking any kind of negative. Probably has to roll through a month before it updates. Research so concluded. by 126 due to 86% imperial cohesion. Cohesion, hmm. Well, we're at 30 and at 50 total. Not that bad. How you doing? Construction is underway. Ooh, research is done. It gave us the extra five. Now, what do we want to do? Adam, automatic exploration, not worth just yet. Though the survey speed is nice. Hmm. All right, extra survey speed. We can use that. Oh, look how far he's gotten. Let's keep going. Uh, I really want to know what's near this nebula. So head on out. See if we can make first contact. Okay, you should be ready to go. Two, we're missing there. Got it, nailed it. When we get 30 population on here, I think we're also going to pick up that, um, that refinery. I think we need it. We have detected an anomaly. Impressive structures on Tabor 5's surface, particularly begging, practically begging for some archaeological work. <sighs> what system are you in currently? That's way out here? And way up here. Yeah, that's way up here. Hmm. All right, go ahead and research it. And this looks like another dead-end system. Construction completed. Construction completed. Well done, excellent. More kyber crystals. Got a lot of kyber crystals. I think these would be rare. Hmm. Decent set of minerals here. Six, also some trade value. Construction if we were completed. To pick up, oh, we already have a trade hub. It just needs to be in our territory. <laughs> can't afford it anyways. Did you finish? Yes, you did. Colony ship. 
All right, with this colony ship being dispatched, another word, another world that needs a new name. Uh, we're gonna end the first episode, not too shabby. Let's watch them go ahead and colonize the world at a normal speed. We'll end our first episode here. Uh, we are starting to reach out into the stars, and I kind of love this idea that we're digging into just crazy populations and having this huge, uh, not even just an army, but a society that hopefully spans everywhere because of how many of us there are. Uh, let me know what you think about that and what kind of benefits. How can we use that? To colony our establishment has begun. If there's any other mechanics that I might be missing out on, there's our new colony. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for some sci-fi modding and gaming goodness. Been doing it here for years now. Uh, let's zoom in on our world. There it is. And I will see you all in the next episode. Later, everybody.